Today, we're gonna to be talking about these Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. And I know that in the past videos, I did say that I was returning them and I did return those. They did end up picking up these. These are the headliners with the low bridge frames and supposedly the gray transition lenses. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt and this is Wire Creatives and today we're talking about these glasses right here. Now, I did do a review on the Ray-Ban smart glasses with the Wayfair frames and gray transition lenses. And I did mention that I did return those. So which are these? These are the Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses with the headliner and a low bridge frame. Now it is two minute Tuesday, but as we know here, I pretty much blow through that, but let's go ahead and put that clock on anyway. As we get into this, I'm just gonna roll the unboxing in the background. This is pretty much the same as it was with the Wayfair, but there's a few things I wanna talk over as we go through this. The first thing was my ordering process with this. Now these were a little bit hard to get. They were in stock, out of stock, in stock. I did have notifications on. I did end up ordering these from LensCrafter. Now my first problem here was when I did try originally to order these from Ray-Ban, they said that I had to have a prescription for these, which I wasn't really sure what that process was because I didn't need a prescription for these. I just wanted a regular non-prescription lens. But to order these, you do have to get a prescription to get the transition lenses. Now again, these are the headliners with the low bridge and gray transition lenses, kinda. Going back into ordering, I ended up going through lens crafter and I ran into the same roadblock. From here, I contacted my eye doctor, said, hey, I wanted just like a plain prescription with no correction. That's called a Plano prescription. They were able to get that to me. I was able to upload that and everything went through. Now, from that point, I didn't receive anything further than they got the prescription. It was shipped out and showed up at my door with no shipping notifications. Not a huge deal because it arrived right before my trip, which was really nice to have these. Now, this is where I ran into my next problem. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a slight green tint to these. Now on the box here, the frames are shiny black, but the lenses are G15 green. And when I go into the app, it says that the lens color is a G15 green polar. So comparing them to my Wayfarers, I do notice that they aren't the same transition. These definitely do have a green tint when you're looking at them. Now, when they transition from light to dark, I do notice that this transition is a little bit darker and I do notice it when I'm wearing them compared to the gray transitions where it wasn't as noticeable. Right away, I've worn these for the past few days. We went on vacation for July 4th. I haven't had the same issues that I had with those. These fit my face really well. They sit right where they're supposed to on my nose. I don't get the same hot spotting here or here. And I just overall enjoy the wearing experience so much more than I did with the Wayfarers. So if you are Asian and you need low bridge frames, or if you're someone that just needs low bridge frames, definitely check these out because they will fit your face a lot better. Again, I had that issue where I'm pretty sure these are a green transition or maybe they're the gray with the polarizer on it. I'm not really sure because again, the box says G15, but is that because as a stock model, they only offer it with the G15 green? I don't know. I will be reaching out to Ray-Ban later this week just to clarify to make sure that these are what they are. But even if they're not, I do think that I'm gonna keep these. So there you go. I always blow past that two minutes. What can you do? I tried to keep it to a two minute Tuesday, but yeah. Anyway, there are two additional things I would like to mention. There was an update for these. This was an update to six. And in this update, you now get videos up to three minutes, which is very nice to have. I use this here and there. And I found that having that longer video recording time really allowed you to Kind of get things moving get the shot you wanted and then not have to worry about trying to hit record again and again and just you know letting things happen on its own the other thing that was supposed to happen was you're supposed to get improved battery life personally i haven't seen a whole lot of improvement now using it with the video a lot of people have mentioned i've seen very similar for every minute you lose one percent of battery life so just keep that in mind i will be doing some tests with these later this week just to see how the battery life is comparing to the Wayfair ones that I have to see if this update really did improve it. 
and I'll add those into the description later on if I notice any huge differences between that. So there you go, that's kind of my first impressions or very quick review of these headliner low bridge Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. If you have any thoughts or questions on these glasses, let me know down in the comment section below. I do do my best to answer those in a timely fashion. I do get to everyone at this point. And I'm just gonna end this here. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. So raise your toes for all the good times that I put out.